Hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining Strathmore's 2021 online workshop series. I am so excited that you are here. I'm Shelly, also known as Letters by Shells. And in this workshop series, it's all about having fun as we explore mixed media together. So throughout these series, we'll be using a mixture of watercolors, acrylic inks, and markers to create simple and colorful artwork pieces. In today's lesson, we'll be painting a simple loose watercolor leaf and then exploring ways to apply this illustration when creating patterns and wreaths. So let's get started. For this lesson, I will be using the following supplies. The Strathmore Mixed Media Cards, along with the Dallaroni acrylic inks in colors olive green and bell bronze. An empty palette is totally optional, and of course a cup of water. I'll also be using the Princeton Velvet Touch Round Brush Size 4, and lastly, the Lyra Aqua Brush Dual Pen. Before starting the painting process, go ahead and give the acrylic inks a nice shake, and I'm going to be using the palettes to use just for easier access, but you can also just use the inks directly in the bottles as well. When painting a simple loose leaf, feel free to grip your paintbrush however is comfortable for you. And we're going to go ahead and start with the light upstroke using the very tip of the paintbrush. And that's going to be the stem for the leaf. And now to create the leaf, let's go ahead and use the belly of the paintbrush and create this half oval shape. And you'll notice that I'm going back and painting another stroke at the very bottom. And where the two points meet, you'll notice that I'm going to now extend that tip and that'll help determine the direction and flow the leaf is going. And of course, if you'd like to add more pigment to the leaf, feel free to do so. To paint the remainder set of leaves, I like to start painting on one side first. So for the second set of leaves, I'm going to paint a light upstroke and then now a heavy pressure stroke to create that almond shaped leaf. And feel free to go back and forth and reshape the leaf if you'd like. And tilting my paper, I'm going to now paint the last set of leaf on the right hand side. And for the next set of leaves on the other side, I like to actually turn my paper around because I find it so much easier to paint the strokes. And I'll just go ahead and complete the next set of leaves on the left-hand side. One tip that I would like to share is that I love it when the leaves don't line up. So you'll notice that they are staggering a little bit. When you pick up a leaf, you don't always see it symmetrical, and that's the reason why I decided to draw a leaf that didn't exactly line up. And this is going to be another example of me painting a leaf. You'll notice that I'm doing the exact same techniques that I did for the first set of leaf that I painted, but this time be mindful of how much pressure you're applying when painting the leaf strokes. You'll notice that I'm applying less pressure and the almond shaped leaves are a little bit longer than the first set of leaves that I painted. And that's using the exact same technique, but just creating a different style leaf And then I'll be using the same technique to finish up the next set of leaves on the other side. Yay, now that you have a better understanding of how to paint a simple loose leaf, let's go ahead and start with our first project, which is going to be a leaf pattern. So when I paint patterns, I like to actually start painting starting in the upper left-hand corner. And again, we're just gonna be using the exact same techniques that we've been doing in the beginning of the video. 
Feel free to continuously tilt the paper however you'd like, just to make it easier for you to paint the individual leaf strokes. And then the next one, I'm going to now paint another leaf on the right hand side. So this whole pattern, I'm going to try to make it a goal to paint the leaves going different directions. And just continuing the same process and painting another leaf on the bottom left hand corner. And remember, just have fun with this process and just paint a couple more leaves. The whole entire goal is to fill in the negative space. And feel free, if you have a lot of illustrations going on of the leaf, it's okay to take a step back and just kind of see, okay, where exactly is there more negative space that I can fill? And that's what I was doing here. Afterwards, I did want to have some contrast with this pattern, so I now I'm going to be using the gold ink and painting the exact same leaf illustration. While painting the leaves, remember just to take your time and just to have fun and just really enjoy the process of painting the individual strokes. And for the last finishing touches, I do want to add some leaves along the edges. So they're going to be like half leaves and it just creates really fun effect, I feel. And it just completes the entire pattern piece. So a quick tip that I want to share is that if you have like a really small space, it's okay to also just draw like a three petal leaf or two petal leaf just to fill in that space. And there you have it with this leaf patterned piece. For the second project, feel free to trace out a circle. We're going to be making a leaf wreath. And this one specifically, we're just going to be painting leaves on the upper left hand side along with the bottom. It's not going to be like a full on wreath, but I just wanted to share with you all that there's different techniques and like different ways to paint a wreath, which we'll be covering more in depth in the second lesson. And again, using the exact same techniques, we're just painting one side of the leaf first. 
And then turning our paper around to paint the other set of leaves to finish off that wreath. And when I go ahead and paint the second part of the wreath, I'm going to be making sure that the leaf is going in a different direction than the first leaf that we painted. and painting a few more teardrop and almond shaped leaves to finish off the wreath. And there you have it with this wreath. You can also hand letter something inside of it as well, just to add some finishing touches. And we'll definitely talk all about that in lesson two. And for the last final project for this lesson, we're gonna be painting the exact same loose leaf illustrations that we have in painting. But this time we're going to be painting them along the edges of the paper. So I like to first start on the upper left-hand corner and just to start with one big leaf stroke. and have some leaves kind of go off the paper as well. And just underneath it, I'll be painting another leaf illustration. And after I have a good idea of how many leaves I want to have on one side, now I'm going to do the exact same paintings on the right hand side. And feel free to make the leaves a little bit different, have different strokes. Maybe some strokes are gonna be longer and some can be smaller. You can also have the leaves go in different directions as well by just really emphasizing the tip of the leaf itself. A quick tip as well to provide some contrast with the leaves, you can also have some leaves have more pigment than others. It almost creates an ombre effect. And after the leaf illustration painting has fully dried, I'm going to be using my brush pen and creating outlines of the leaves, not for all of the leaves, but just some outlines for a couple of them. And the outlines that I do create, they're going to be a little bit offset from the original leaves that I painted.
And I just feel that this also completes the piece. And again, it's totally optional, but it does add some nice contrast to the overall illustration and artwork piece. Yay, and there you have it. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson, all about painting simple loose leaves in three different ways. We painted the leaf pattern, the wreath, and the leaf illustrations. I cannot wait to paint with you again in the upcoming class. I hope you can join me then, where we'll be painting all about colorful floral wreaths paired with loose leaves. I'll see you then. Take care. Bye.